Water is the source of life and the most important resource for countries, especially like Israel and Morocco, which are located in warm desert climates. Our next session is called New Solutions for an Old Problem, How to Solve Water Stress. Our first speaker is Amit Lang, CEO of Mikorot, Israel's national water company. Before his current role, Amit was the Director General of the Economy, Economy Ministry, that's where I first met him, and he was Deputy Budget Director of Israel's Finance Ministry. He was recently also a Vice President at the partner telecom company. And what a lot of people don't know is that Amit is a former judoka who competed in the Olympics on Team Israel in 1992, which I will guess is a skill that comes in handy occasionally when having to work with the Israeli government. I'm just going to guess. But <laughs> Before we call on Amit, though, here's a short movie about Mikorot. Mikorot, the national water company. Using an advanced centralized control system, Mikorot currently controls over 3,000 facilities and 12,000 kilometers of pipelines that supply water to over 9 million residents throughout the length and breadth of Israel. Mekarot has become a high-tech water company and global leader in implementing efficient systems while maintaining water loss at a minimum. The financial system rewarded Mekarot with a very high local credit rating, AAA stable. Mekarot is also permitted to pursue business ventures and promote innovation with partners in Israel and around the world. Mekarot will continue to develop its technological capabilities and export its know-how to the rest of the world. It has established a centralized digital division that includes unified IT and OT systems, a holistic operational system, and an advanced cybersecurity system to handle and thwart external attacks. This is a fascinating and extraordinary opportunity for joint investment in cutting edge and groundbreaking water technologies. And this is the right time for a business and technological step that will bring added value to Mekarot and its partner companies and countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Amit Lank. Thank you. Just a second. So thank you very much for having us. Thank you, the Jerusalem Post, the Global Media Holding, and Khaled the Times. Uh, I'm really honored to be here. Um, my name is Amit Lang, and I'm the CEO of Mekorot. So who we are, who are we? Mekorot, Israel National Water Supplier, is a governmental company fully owned by the Israeli government and also is listed on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange and managing a budget of about half a billion dollars a year building and investing in the right infrastructure. Mekorod has animated the unique Israeli spirit, daring, sophisticated, and innovative, facing the complex challenges of the Israeli water economy. These challenges are due to the country's location on the edge of the desert with limited water sources while meeting security threats and operating under a global climate crisis that threatens the existence of our planet. We manage the Israel water economy, supplying water to almost 70% of the country's population and also supplying water to the Gaza Strip, Judea and Samaria, including the Palestinian Authority and the Kingdom of Jordan. We are not only a water supply company, but also a holding group. We own two subsidiaries and seven startups with varying ownerships percentage. But first of all, a few words about how it all began. Like Morocco, Israel has three different climate uh, zones, arid, semi-arid, and Mediterranean. In order to cope with the shortage of water of these challenging climate zones, the government of Israel, led by Mekorot, first established the national carriers in the 60s. In the 70s, Mekorot installed pumping equipment in the mountain aquifer. As the population grew, we were one of the pioneers in implementing the, desilin uh, the osmos, re reverse osmosis desalination. Alongside that, we also developed the ability to reclaim effluents for the agriculture use. 
Nowadays, we are managing four different water sources together using the same system while managing demand in real time, all that with less than 3% loss in the system. To the best of our knowledge, there is no precedent to this. Climate change is here, and the issue of water shortage is, is in great significance. In Sharm el-Sheikh, we led just a week ago session on water at the COP27. Europe has experienced the hottest summer in 500 years, and large rivers in the United States, like the Mississippi and the Colorado, are drying up. This has increasingly led to the sense of panic and deep concern within the people. I'm proud to say that this is not the case in Israel. McCord diverse operations cover the entire supply chain, including recycling, drilling, and cyber defense. The outcome together with the way McCord does it led that in May 2022, GWI declared us as one of the world's leading water companies in technology, innovation, with an emphasis on the company's current and future development plans. In recent years, Mekorot has undergone a co comprehensive digital transformation interfacing its OT and IT system into a uniform command. At the same time, the company has improved its cyber defense capabilities for critical infrastructures. With all, with all these components, we are entering a new era where everything is automated and almost no human touch. Mekorot is synonymous with innovation. We are realizing the huge potential in five main aspects. Investments in startups, business collaboration, applied research, patent development, in-house innovation. Through our diverse offers in both theoretical and practical platforms, we have become prominent player in the local and global water industry. Our startup maps contains companies in various variety of fields, such as water quality, digital image processing, energy efficiency, biosensors, artificial intelligence, physical security, and cyber security. We continue to search and invest, even these days, in promising startups. The future is really here. Mekorot provides integrated water solutions thanks to the company's expertise across a wide range of disciplines. Big data, circular economy, cybersecurity, optical fiber. All of these are just examples of technological approach that should be in every national water company around the globe. We are Israel's largest consumer of energy, responsible for around 3% of the country's total demand. Mekorot's new growth engine is going to be the renewable energy production. We have begun using the water reservoirs as solar panels with potential energy production of 1.6 gigawatts. For the sake of comparison, this amounts to about half of all Israel's solar energy production. The program will enable the company to switch its energy consumption method and reduce its carbon footprint over the coming years. <coughs> Excuse me. One of Mekorot's main growth engine is uh, the possibility of using our water pipes for deployment of optical fibers. The idea began actually as a test for 24-7 uh, uh, 20, monitoring of leaks, malfunctions, and water theft, and since has expanded to intense communication using the current nation, nationwide network of the water pipes. The company's quite rapid deployment enables traditional communication reports to use Mekorot infrastructure or in order to reach the nation periphery, saving the needs to build independent infrastructure. In March 2021, following the signing of Abraham Accords with countries in the Persian Gulf and Africa, Mekorot signed its first of its kind agreement to build and upgrade the water system in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Accords have opened a new and fascinating business opportunities and horizons for the company and it intend to fulfill the opportunities with an abundance of solutions for the water economy's neighboring distant countries. 
And most importantly, after this session, we will sign an MOU with the respected National Office of an Electricity and Drinking Water, ONI, for international cooperation between the two companies. We are operating in the international arena in many areas, creating master plans, consulting on desalination and wastewater treatment, groundwater hydrology, deep drilling, water supply, and non-revenue water reduction. Just in 2022, we operated in Bahrain, India, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, Mexico, Cyprus, and Azerbaijan. I welcome you to explore the ocean of opportunities, the sea of opportunities, as my pre previous said, uh, that this era offers us, and we are delighted to exchange knowledge and experience with you. Thank you. <laughs>